So we've just uh, installed LibreOffice in German. I'm just gonna quickly boot up again to see if everything is everything is in German. And of course, as usual, well, the, the right guy is gonna win for sure. Um, yeah, spoiler. But um, the fact is, we have done an update in one of the series because this is actually a series it keeps on going we have done an update and there are even more updates at this point in time and this is also out of date we've made a scale and a backup scale and it did not do anything with it so i'm gonna do another backup scale now okay that's for later and teach you some more about this article Linux thing so office things, office things. We have a lot of office things. We have, well, a lot of megabytes and that's why it's not on Arco Linux ISO. But there is an Arco Linux B ISO where you build it yourself and you can put it on any way you see fit. Because with uh, LibreOffice in English and French and Spanish and so on, and all the possibility, all the changes. So basically we already had LibreOffice Writer, but let's open it again. And I wanna see something else now, impress maybe. So, importieren, abbrechen, importieren, nehmen wir Bienenkorb, importieren. Keine, meine Dokumentenvorlage, geschäftliche Korrespondenz, okay. Und dann, was soll ich hier machen? Öffnen, ich habe nichts zu öffnen, ich habe nichts abbrechen. So, wow, beautiful, right? So we can, everything you see here is German, and that's the only thing, only check we're gonna do. I'm not gonna show off my, ling my language, but it's just gonna show that everything is here correct. Well, object, object is mit ein K, so das stimmt. I'll just have trouble keeping, to keep speaking English and reading German. My brain aches. There is lots more in Office. There is Draw. It's not my cup of tea, I must uh, admit that I'm not really an Office suit user, so I'm not missing it at all at Linux. I have Genie, I have Atom, I have Sublime Text, Steph. I mean, those are tools for me. But if you want to work on it, like in an, an actually company or something, then yeah, you need to have something, right? Nicht speichern, not saving it. Maybe you'll learn some words in German as well. Calculator is the one people are so dreading. It's so difficult, but it's so useful. It's so interesting to have some knowledge of Excel or huh, all these commands some how does it work here does not equal and then zoom you can't to tap it seems like i said never worked on it let's type it we can do that oh okay so I guess tap is not functional here. We have this fx that we can use. Zal 1, Zal 2, Zal 3, okay. So yeah, probably gonna work. And all the functionality, this is our sum. So we have um, some numbers. And then we say here, give, oh, wrong one, abbrechen. Give me the sum of these guys. I left in a space, he hates spaces. The same as a Microsoft. Can move can we move this guy around? No, it's not Microsoft of course. I am just assuming everything is the same, but of course it's not, so you need to learn how to work and navigate with this thing. But everything is available and everything is in German and that's what we wanted to see. Speicheren, nein, nicht speicheren. What else? Office. So LibreOffice base, the database, the general, the calc, return, draw, with done, impress, writer. So the only thing is the base. 
Datenbank auswählen, fertigstellen. Ja, neue Datenbank speichern. Uh, what's he doing? We need to have some stuff. Unable to complete network. Ah, yeah. Okay, so far. Okay. So we need to um, get connection, real connections to some kind of database or SQL stuff. So that goes beyond the scope of what we're trying to do here. Just checking if everything is in German. Okay, ben. So, uh, my videos contain always more than the title of the video. You're warned. I made a backup scale. Why did I do that? I want to know at some point in time, there is a content in the ETC scale, which is the most important folder on your system in regards to Arc Linux. When you do a backup scale, you get an image and a frozen point in time. What is the status? What is the, the file content, the folder content of that particular fi uh, folder, ETC scale? And then you get the updates in and then you get something else in. So when you do two backup scales, the fun stuff is if you select these two, right mouse click, compare, make it bigger, make sure the same one is off because you're not interested in the same files. You want to know what has the theme of Arc Linux changed and what is now changed and why is it changed, right? So this is a little bit difficult to see. The only thing you can see that this is version two and this is version three. So maybe I should combine that as well with some cleanup and then the, the picture is complete. So bin, in bin, there is a change. Um, mm, mm, where is it? Delete in the main, yeah. LTS kernel, okay. So the thing I need to do, you see there are two changes. If there are updates coming in, they are written to etc scale. They're not written to your home directory, unless you do now a scale. Now remember in the previous video, this is a series, goes from one, two, three, four, five, right? We made a copy paste. This is just a simple copy paste. Config copy one, let's check. Don't believe me, compare. Okay, so yeah, Atom has been started in the meantime and so on, Tunar, so there were changes at this point in time. So fine, you don't believe me and you're right. So delete it then, Control C, Control V. At this point in time, they're the same. Check, compare. Yeah, there's some stuff here. Uh, still in some changes that we've done here, varieties in here, clip manager, but it's not crucial. It's not important. So this is the same. Okay. When I do a scale. So let's go back to bin. We were bin and main. Remember the change between these two guys? Those are copies from each C scale, which we never ran is the command scale. Scale is copy pasting etc scale content to your home directory. So this thing, that's home directory. This is Eric, this is the Eric of home. So rem think about it before I use scale, we use scale because of course we use this system all the time and we don't wanna, well, we know what our changes are. You need to figure out what our changes are. So when we do a scale, everything is copy pasted over and you see immediately something changed here. There is something more. There is a version two and a version three, exactly like it said here. Because of the backup scale, clean install, update, backup scale again. So that's the difference in time. Look at the date and well, the date is the same, but the time, okay? So if there is a version two, and in version three, you can compare if you have lots of time. And that's also, of course, a point of us to learn. We have thrown out Yahoot. We have thrown out Packer. Why would we keep it around if these AUR helpers are no, no longer functional? So 
we saw suddenly we discovered this hey what was this crap this needs to go so we've updated it to yay and to trison obviously so version 2 bye same goes for this guy if you want to get in the LTS kernel same guy here we removing with Packer Packer is out Pacman is in etc etc Packer Pacman that's how we do it so version 2 bye so now we have exactly the same thing um, well what we're supposed to have because we're not deleting stuff in here the only thing we do is overwrite the files that are, that are there so they have the correct content but we won't ever delete anything so all these versions keep existing so okay so you know stay rolling version 1 we can have a look what changed we wrote the text if you have an HP printer you better keep this so we are warning you we are helping you all the time on all media we're always helping you bonsai is this fun stuff control at let me please put it in the video right bonsai cool so it's little three it's a great script that we found online a little bit smaller maybe so we don't see the other one ah it's gone alpha you know what it is it's a little tree beautiful so that's been added that's new it was not on the installation on this on the iso it is now because of our um, updates it's in the etc scale you type scale it's on your system you can use it the same for the uh, the conky is there tp troll is new conky set wallpaper is changed why because we're working on yes it, it's coming to you guys qtile another desktop number 13 and some stuff let's see what this is some information for the backgrounds if you're booting up that you have the arco wallpaper these mountains uh, that, that's a nice first impression pejor c latest important that we say something about it pejor c latest is the latest bash or aliases or the bash or c that we have created so it is the very very last thing so this is different at some point in time i was working i said ah, each time i have to go inside etc scale and make sure that the bash or c latest is overwritten with well that the bash or c is overwritten with the bash rc latest so copy this guy over on this guy that's what it says now it's just cb two letters no work no fuss just fun and play cb is going to make sure that your uh, your bash rc latest is always the correct one as simple as that cb so let's do that because that's the last thing that we need to do everything is for the rest clear we get a new script in a bonsai script we get some um a conky in and a setting for tutile and what was this yeah the wallpapers and that's it so now you know what changed on your system and that's the thing that's super right always be aware what happens just do scales and backup scales compare and learn so this could this guy and this guy does not happen that often but sometimes we have a new alias and then when you compare these two they'll differ why this one is from the ISO clean installation this one is changed via the, the scripts and then it's in etc scale you're gonna copy paste it over but it's not right it's not the latest this one it's always the one from the ISO but once you do control T and you type in CB and then check it again compare how did that happen files are now identical you'll see that this CB thing is now changed it's longer it's gonna copy paste everything over 
and it's even and that should be the case let's have a look here it should be even here that it's the same compare it should be if and now it comes <laughs> very strange but if you do it again at this point it will be okay because now he asks the password now he says now he wants to do this a copy from here to here and this is protected etc scale this is protected so now it's gonna work and he's asking a password for something right compare it again finished no more troubles everything are cool the cb thing will always make sure that bash rc and bash rc are late and latest are always the same now if people say hey but i have all kinds of stuff in there that's just for me well there's an other article bash rc latest you need to create a particular file and it's gonna be my best guess i was there are lots of information you see but basically i start with outlinks.com i know of course where it is but you should do it like that and test it first out there bash rc well without dash or with dash personal just remember that one it's a personal thing the one for you add your personal aliases to bash rc the smart way as simple as that follow the tutorial what will happen is that we make a particular file bash rc personal and it's going to be added to your to the list all the aliases in there will be um, added and it's all the way down it says hey if there is a file in there that's called bash rc personal then add it to the system and your proper your own personal um, well aliases for example will be added and they will work as well so we've checked everything is german we've um, explained some more as always we explain more in the video that's what's what's on the title that's too small to put everything in there and everything seems to work well so there you go this was LibreOffice if however you think hey I'm missing stuff well just uh, say it on on YouTube say it on discord there is a forum there are social media and I'll hear it cheers